Hey everybody, welcome back to Health Performance Center and something we haven't been able to do a lot of lately because we've just been so busy treating everybody is getting back to our video series and with a lot of the big changes that are going on here at Health Performance Center, we're going to be getting back to the video series and holidays are coming up, going to spend a lot of time talking about back issues and different things like that and Dr. Jared obviously with the holiday season upon us back issues are going to take the center stage when it comes to a lot of the clients that we're going to be seeing. Absolutely. Seasonality is always a factor that we, we think about. We've talked about when the summer months, when things got really warm, what happens then? Well, now we're kind of looking at the exact opposite. As the holidays come about, as winter weather comes about, uh, we were lucky last year with a very mild winter. Who knows with Hurricane Sandy and what's going on, what type of uh, winter we'll get again this year. But we always want to be prepared both through um, how we use our body, but then also what we're even paying attention to during these kind of holiday months. So we have some potential holiday activities that, that occur each year. Um, you know, that we want to pay attention to as far as our bodies, what might happen to them. We have our holiday parties that we go to or holiday events where we might spend a lot of time in the seated position, in the standing position that can really wreak havoc on the low back. Uh, also doing any type of decor. Um, you know, I've seen already Christmas things up. It's not even Thanksgiving yet. Uh, but getting those things out, putting them up, whether it's in the house, outside of the house, there's a lot of hazards that can come up, a lot of mistakes and, and accidents that can come up and cause uh, trouble with the low back. Definitely when snowfall um, comes, scooping, shoveling snow, uh, the nice wet snow that comes in Missouri, so it's a little bit heavier than the dry snow that some of us are used to uh, out in other states, but it's a wet snow so it gets heavy and can really wreak havoc on the low back. Uh, as well as falls, okay? Just uh, the ice that we get in the St. Louis area can definitely be very, uh, very troublesome. The black ice where you're walking all of a sudden, you're looking up at the sky. Um, those things can really cause a lot of problems in the low back, and we'll talk about that. But then also just overall stress, just the stress of the holidays, the stress of taking care of a family. Uh, I know a lot, my wife will stress out a lot because she wants to take care of everybody and she forgets to kind of take care of herself. Uh, so we want to bring all of those things to the forefront so that you can kind of uh, have a better plan this year so that you feel better. And, and you know what, Doc, talk a little bit about stress because I don't think people really understand that, you know, yeah, everybody gets stressed out during the holiday season, but a lot of people think, ah, oh, it doesn't really affect my health and well-being, but really it does. Good grief. There's so much research on what stress does physiologically in the system. Um, both stress response and how we carry our postures, we get closer to that fetal position or that comfort position or rolled over. Well, that just, we've gone over how devastating that can be to the neck and the shoulders. But then also on a uh, biochemical level, as far as what happens with cortisol. And cortisol is a, you know, a substance in the body that, that comes out due to stress and it's very inflammatory to the system. So if you're close to having a problem or a big injury in the system or pain uh, that's kind of radiating all about, well, the, the cortisol levels that are shot into your system due to stress can be the number one factor that makes that happen. Maybe it's not something, maybe it's not an accident. All of a sudden something comes out of the blue and a lot of times it's managing this so you can take care of yourself, you can take care of everybody else. So good point, Jim. What we're gonna look at, we have our lovely stick figures drawn here and we're gonna look at this one first, okay? As far as low back pain, there's three things that we're gonna talk about. First is in the standing position. What a lot of people get is pain that's kind of radiates or kind of emanates and, and is in this low back real locally right there. And that's from long-term standing. I stand a little bit hyperextension, lock out my knees, and I'm just compressing a lot of uh, the joints in my low back. That compression, it's almost like jamming a knuckle over time. It really hurts and can cause a lot of uh, spasm of the muscles that, that really debilitates our system and decreases our capability with things. So compression is something that we really have a, a, it's an easy thing to treat with the adjustment, with some stretching techniques and with some awareness. Compression, which is that pain that's very local in this low back, 
A lot of times it's right across this low back crease area. That's a very simple thing to treat. So if that's getting in the way of your holiday spirit, um, get somewhere or give us a call. We can definitely help out with that. Now, some of the bigger things that happen more with uh, doing decor, scooping, or any type of falls that occur is the sprain strain of the low back. You have a traumatic type of event where you might fall, you know, you go to pick something up and pow, oh my gosh, everything is terrible and you start walking around like this. That's usually due to a massive sprain strain and or disc herniation. With that, we have this antalgic posture is what it's called, but you're walking around off, I guess is the best way to put it. Um, and that's due to either a sprain strain and or a disc herniation, because really what a, a disc herniation is a sprain of your disc, okay? Um, most people think, oh my gosh, I'm out for the count, nothing you know, can save me with this, I need to go to my orthopedic for surgery. Realistically, uh, a chiropractic office, health and performance center, and specifically with what we do with the chiropractic adjustment, muscle treatment, as well as movement therapy, we deal with these very effectively every single day. So if you find yourself in this kind of flex position a lot with your decor, with, with shoveling or anything, and you wake up one morning and you just can't move, uh, we can kind of save your holiday <laughs> by taking care of this very effectively. So in summary, there's generally three things that'll get us anytime, but definitely in the holiday season. It's chronic that standing for long periods or talking to people at your parties. The compression, very easy thing to treat. But on this as well, the sprains and strains due to the falls, due to picking up things, moving things around, we are very effective with getting people back up and running very quickly with those as well. Absolutely. Thanks, Dr. Jared. And we will be doing these on a weekly basis and keeping everybody healthy during the holiday season. Absolutely.